Thank you all so much um, for joining us here in the beautiful um, uh, T.S. Martin Park. Hey, uh, I know that um, our city manager is going to make acknowledgement of, of uh, Assistant City Manager Henry Simon, who works so closely with his amazing uh, team here today. Um, suffered a devastating loss uh, this morning. We want to make sure we keep the Simon family in prayer um, as we go through the day. I know it's weighing heavy on, on, on so many of us, and it gave my heart a little bit of levity to see this little fellow dunking on Sam Davis when I came up earlier. You know, gives you gives you reasons to smile. Yeah, uh, uh, reasons to smile. You know, so um, and you know, I I, I think back, and and I won't steal her comments when she has a chance to come up and, and, and speak. Uh, but I, when I think back to this this particular park, it's wonderful to come here and have a chance to celebrate uh, the amazing work of a, of a community working closely uh, with our, our staff and team, working closely with the neighborhood leaders uh, over here. Because I think back to um, um, comments I've heard Ms. Devine say over, over, over many years uh, and how um, activity, um, loss of life here has spurred her action over um, the last two uh, decades. Uh, we're here today to celebrate, quite frankly, to celebrate uh, the life and legacy again of, of Thomas Sinclair uh, Martin, a community pioneer and activist, a driving force um, in the creation of the Charles Drew Pool um, over seven decades ago. Um, in 2016, as many of you know, a master plan was devised to revitalize this entire 900, excuse me, nine and a half acres of T.S. Martin Park. Uh, the master plan was created with support of the late Willa Martin Bailey, the daughter of T.S. Martin. With over $400,000 in CDBG funding, uh, we're able to implement phase one of the master plan. And I'm not sure, I don't want to take the, the councilman's uh, uh, thunder as well, um, but if it's my job, uh, Having to get into, into the elements of of, 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 of all the park. If, if it's not, I'll come back and do it. If someone else doesn't do it. But I will tell you that um, uh, so many of these play elements, this is the very first park, one of the very first parks in the entire country to have these elements uh, here a, in the park. And, uh, and that's, uh, Randy, to you and your team, that's an amazing accomplishment uh, to, to make sure that, again, this vision for creating special places in the public realm for our children to grow and prosper, uh, that we're building parks of the 21st century. We're building parks not only for 2021, but for 2031 and 41, and giving children a very special place to grow up. Um, excited to announce that phase two will indeed uh, be starting uh, in the spring, also funded by CDBG dollars. Gloria, keep them coming, uh, please. Um, and phase two will include walking paths, the new baseball field fencing, dugouts, and other site amenities. I got to tell you, I'm just amazed that we got um, some money not going to District 1 and coming over to District 2 for, for parks. You would think the only parks in the whole city, uh, if Mr. Davis had his way, all in District 1. Uh, but uh, somewhere along the way, we sent a preacher over here to District 2 who, decided, who started proselytizing and said that we need to make sure more and more resources came over here to the parks in, in, uh, in, in District 2, and along with the passion that I know Ms. Devine has articulated about this special place for many years uh, and the dedication of, of Mr. McDowell, um, wonderful leadership. I, I, I will tell you, um, Will Brennan has been an amazing addition to City Council and represents, I believe, the future, uh, the promising future of the city. You combine that would engage community leadership in the very best, not one of the best, the very best professional leadership that the city has ever had, led by Teresa Wilson and her team, you get a special combination. And uh, I'm, I'm very thankful uh, in these last days uh, uh, of my tenure as, as, as mayor to be able to attend uh, some amazing ribbon cuttings like this, because this is what the community is all about. A great city is a collection of great neighborhoods. Great neighborhoods consist of, of great families and people that make them great, and uh, we're having a great day right here at T.S. Martin Park because of this leadership. Uh, I'll yield, I'll yield uh, um, the microphone. It's not a cold day. If it was a cold day, he'd be wearing a hat. If he was wearing a hat, he'd be passing that hat. So we don't have to pass a hat today uh, to my friend, Councilman Ed McDowell. The mayor is full of jokes today, isn't he? <laughs> 
Mr. Mayor, yes, sir, to our city manager, uh, to, to the staff of Parks and Rec, uh, Brother Kerry, Brother Todd, this is a wonderful day in this district. There has been many, many conversations about this park. There has been many good and heated conversations about this park. When I think about the life of Brother Martin and I look at his birthday, 1911, that's a glorious day, not only for in his life, but also in the life of my fraternity. Amen. 19... He still got jokes, hasn't he? It is a marvelous day for, for us to celebrate not only a teacher, but a coach, a man who gave of himself to, to this community, a man who understood what it meant to not only be an enabler, but to also fund that enablement into the lives of young men and young women. Isn't it wonderful for us together? Isn't it wonderful for us to not only celebrate his life and this park, but also to celebrate the future of this park and those persons who have given of themselves. So I celebrate, the city celebrates, parks and recs celebrate. Let's go forward and let the future be our guide as we celebrate Brother Thomas Sinclair Martin. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It is, um, as Reverend McDowell said, a great day, but I, I'm here uh, as your councilwoman, but really bringing, uh, thinking about just the personal impact that this amazing family has had on my life and many, many young people's lives and now will continue to have a huge impact. Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Mayor, because <laughs> it's around my earring. <laughs> Thank you. Um, in the lives of, of young people. Um, just sitting here, uh, it's not lost to me when I think about and I travel around the city and I talk about Columbia being my home and the and how much uh, this community poured into me. I sit here uh, and I think about um, going to Northminster and sitting on the back pew with Eva Bolden and her pulling out books. And when, as a young child, not necessarily wanting to listen to the preacher, Reverend McDowell, um, <laughs> having books that I could read um, and, and the impact that she made in my life. And then I remember jumping on a bus and going down to USC to uh, youth sports um, with Coach Martin. Uh, and although I do not have the athletic ability that my, my late father had, uh, when you went down and participated in those programs, you felt like a superstar, an all-star, um, that you could do anything. And so when I think about uh, this family and the impact uh, that everybody and, and continuing on, and I look at, you know, Miss Tommy and Gerald and think about Willa sending us, Reverend McDowell, all those emails about this park and making sure that we did not forget the wise legacy of T.S. Martin and how that legacy needed to continue by continuing to invest in activities for young people I feel like we've come full circle. Uh, I feel like it. we are certainly recognizing that young people of today are the leaders, the city leaders, the national leaders of tomorrow, uh, and giving them opportunities to uh, recreate uh, and feel like a superstar in their communities, in their neighborhoods is so very important. And so I'm honored to be here today as we cut this ribbon uh, to continue the legacy of T.S. Martin in this great city and continue to show uh, the young people how important uh, all of their abilities are and how they are superstars 
not just in the eyes of our city leaders, but in this community. And so thank you all um, to the, the Bolden and Martin families for allowing us an opportunity to continue the great legacy of T.S. Martin. And we thank you for all the contributions you continue to make to the community. Um, and we are excited to see the young people come here uh, and see all the shining stars that will come out of this great T.S. Martin Park. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Devon. Thank you, Mayor Benjamin. Um, they both really said uh, so much of what, what is with the mask and the earrings? <laughs> <laughs> um, of, of some of the things that, that I will um, further state, the mayor is right, uh, bear with us, because all of these moments now with him are really special. So it means even more that we're dedicating and doing the ribbon cutting today here at T.S. Martin with him it's still in place. Um, he shared, as he sometimes does with us at City Hall, he shared his shrimp tacos with us today. And I don't think he knew how much that meant to us because every little moment is, is um, I don't know, it's a little bit different and even more special, Mayor. Um, we are, you know, just thrilled to see the progress that has been made at this park. Um, I'm up to give special acknowledgments and I'm doing it on behalf of Assistant City Manager Henry Simons who called me this morning very early um, and in between his tears and mine shared that his father passed unexpectedly this morning and um, he was still, as he always pays a special attention to detail, worried about this ribbon cutting today. And I told Henry that he has, as he always does, ensured that his wonderful team in Parks and Recreation is more than prepared to step up and make sure everything goes according to plan. And it certainly has. And with God's grace and beautiful weather and this wonderful family, we are here to do just that. So I will report in to him later that all is well here. And thank you, Randy. Um, our Parks and Rec Director, Dave, Randy Davis, and his team for making sure everything is perfect and in place for the Martin and Bolden families. Um, when you grow up in Columbia, as Ms. Devine said, things tend to come full circle. So I walked in today and put made this connection finally that Ms. Tommy McMillan, who is a friend of my parents who were longtime Benedict Tigers and educators, is the daughter of T.S. Martin, and she is a mentor to me and a friend of our family. Um, in my former life as an English teacher, I learned from her at Spring Valley High School. So it's really interesting how things come full circle. So I want to acknowledge Ms. McMillan, the daughter of T.S. Martin, Edward Bailey, the husband of the late Willa Bailey and daughter of T.S. Martin and all the other family members in attendance today. Also close friends of the family are here with us, Linnell Cohen, Warren and Wendy Bolden, of course, and Mr. Nathaniel Stevenson, who is very special and dear to us at the city, a longtime employee who um, has taught many children, including my own, how to swim and um, has just, just touched so many youth in Columbia, and we are especially thankful for him and his connection to this family. Um, we want you all to leave this lasting, uh, understand this legacy, um, and, and challenge all the young parents who we know need to have positive um, experiences for their children in this particular community to come here. Um, and now as we continue, as the mayor talked about, to continue to grow the park with the additional phases, we're just so thankful for the family and the friends of T.S. Martin who have given us this reason, this lasting legacy to do just that and use city funds and city resources and city professionals um, to touch our children in, in such a great way. So thank you for being here. And did you all have any comments, Ms. McMillan, or any other family? Come on. Thank you. 
I'll make this brief. First, uh, to our mayor, and oh, I hate to see him go. We're dear friends, go back a long way. Um, to the city manager, uh, who is another dear friend. To Ms. Isaac, another dear friend. Um, to Mr. Randy Davis, who really helped set this up. It, it meant so much. Um, I want to thank my family for coming out today, uh, the Boldens. Um, Mr. Bailey, who is Willa's husband, and he has always been her biggest fan and advocate. My brother, my grandson, uh, Brahim Hamilton, and all of the platform guests and, and those who are in attendance. Thank you so much. My father had a vision, and my sister really extended that vision. She knew what he wanted this neighborhood to have. He loved this community dearly. And I'm so glad that she pushed, because she was a pusher, to get the things that the children needed here. And it's going to continue. And we're going to have a lot of rising stars to come out of this community. I know that. Um, I want you to continue to pray for our family and to pray for each other. And I just want things to continue to move forward. Thank you so much. So some of the um, amazing play elements you see around us, you see the physics full moon climbing area, the bamboo climbing jungle, the multi-level um, elephant play um, basketball tree with five hoops, asphalt, ba asphalt basketball court, um, a walking perimeter play path, and of course a shade center with site amenities. We hope and pray to see many families out here uh, enjoying this, um, this amazing uh, space again. I'm really proud of these play elements in phase one because T.S. Martin Park is one of the very first parks in the entire country that have them. So again, thank you everyone for, for uh, taking this, this vision cast so many years ago and manifesting it in, in such a um, meaningful way. I think we're going to gather. And uh, oh, um, I do want to make one more note. Uh, uh, thank you again to, um, to Gloria Said and her staff at Community uh, Development, a um, uh, wonderful uh, parks and Recreation uh, Department, um, Randy Union team, and also the Parks and, and Rec Foundation Board uh, for their continued support of this mission to redevelop um, our city parks. Um, it takes a team. It takes a family. Um, I, and and Miss Ebony Kelly, uh, who is amazingly gifted at bossing everyone around and, and, and making sure things happen, uh, making sure things happen, and I know. Um, standing in the gap for our brother Henry right now, just making sure everything went lockstep as as always. Um, I want to thank her. We're gonna we're gonna gather and cut this ribbon. Yes, sir. All right, let's do it.